everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. That sounded a bit off, but let's just ignore that. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing two new skin products, like base products um, that I recently received and bought. Before we jump into that, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to Super Game Girl. So thank you so much for subscribing. If you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know when you've done so in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment. <laughs> all right, let's just jump straight into it. So we're gonna be reviewing the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. That was a mouthful. And then we've got the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. And I received this in PR. I bought this. Um, usually I do receive NYX PR, but I don't know. I don't think they were sending this out in PR. I don't know. Maybe I didn't receive it. I just bought it, okay? Because to be honest with you, lately for work especially, I've been more into... Um, just really light base products um light to medium and i just want something that's gonna even out my skin tone look glowy and just super natural um i rarely wear like full coverage stuff unless i'm wearing like my giorgio armani luminous silk one um my makeup forever one this is just on times where i know i'm going to be going out afterwards um in l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation i'm going off on a tangent here um, but you guys get what I mean. I just really like natural products lately. So I was so excited to try these. I've been wearing them for a whole week now. So not the, each product, but I think I've worn the candid one like four or five times already. I really do like it. Um, and then I've got the NYX Bear With Me, which I've worn maybe like three times. In the Revlon one, I am in the shade Toast. And the NYX one, I am in the shade Cinnamon Mahogany. So let's first talk about the Revlon one. It's not 10, you can get it for £10. It's got 482 reviews on Boots and it's got like a 4.2 out of 5 stars. That's pretty good. So this is... This is going to give you a natural finish, it's anti-pollution, ultra blendable, buildable, infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution and anti-blue light. And I was not aware of this anti-blue light thing. So it doesn't have things like oils, phthalates, synthetic dyes and fragrances. It's true, it hasn't got fragrance. And I guess those are kind of like, not the greatest things for your skin. Then benefits, you have your creamy texture, goes on like a moisturizer, blends even out the skin tone, weightless, oh, I'm not reading this properly, that's okay. Um, it's got a premium pump packaging, medium buildable coverage, natural finish, keeps moisturized all day. I was sent the powder and the concealer, but I've been given the totally wrong shade. I might go out and buy the right ones but I'm just not too fussed about it right now. But I am, I might do because since I like this so much, um, but I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see. Um, then for the NYX one, they're not the same because the, the Revlon one is more a uh, medium coverage. Whilst this one, I think it's much, much lighter. Uh, this is not a foundation. So to be honest, it's not really fair for me to compare the two, but I just wanted to talk about them because they're really nice and um, for different reasons. Um, it's a weightless formula providing super light coverage with aloe infused hydration. So this says, reveal your freshest self with our new Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. Simply smooth this weightless formula onto the complexion for light breathable coverage with a seamless and san satiny finish. 12 forgiving shades formulated to accommodate a wide range of skin tones. Each flexible hue feels like a second skin and delivers up to 8 hours of hydration. So the Revlon one is available in 31 shades. And I totally understand why there's more shades to this because it's they, they advertise it more as a foundation whilst the next one is more of like a tinted kind of skin product. So 12 shades. I feel like it does kind of adapt a little bit to your skin tone. Um, there was like three shades I could have gotten away with, but I chose this one. Right, I think it's really good to zoom you guys in when I do these videos. The Revlon one does claim that it will stay on for all day long. This claims for eight hours, uh, 31 shades, 12 shades, medium coverage, super light coverage. Um, this one's oil free. I don't believe this is oil free. <laughs> 
Um, they're both around £10, so similar price. The Revlon one comes in a pump like this, which is super convenient. So I just literally like put one pump of this on. I do like one pump on each side when I do wear this. And I just like distribute it. And then I, I've been liking this Huda Beauty Bacon Blend Brush, but I used this side. And I kind of just used this to blend it. Even though this is like oil free, it's super hydrating, which I really do like. Right, so that's one side done. As you can see, it was very easy to blend. You can totally build on this, but I'm happy with the way it covered. And a little scar there, it's kind of covered it. Um, I'm really happy with that. Is it something that I would repurchase? Definitely, I will tell you guys why in a bit, but let's just apply the NYX one quickly. So, I'm a bit more heavy handed with the NYX one since it um, is more of a super light coverage. I feel like it's the perfect match for me. I'm using the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. This one is very glowy. And I do find myself having to build it up more just to give it a bit more coverage, but it's still more on the light side. If you have um, like spots to cover or anything like that or pigmentation, I probably wouldn't recommend this. It wouldn't give you much coverage to be honest but they're both really good shades for me i don't know if you guys can tell this gives them a bit this is definitely more of a medium coverage and this is more of like a light glowy bb cream do you know what i mean uh but it's not a bb cream more of like a tinted moisturizer i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and i will be right back so i have added a bit of concealer bronzer and blush literally that is it a lot of days when i go to work especially i do look like this just really fresh face the sun is so weird today like it's very cloudy so it keeps coming out in and out in and out in and out <laughs> um so my lighting does change a bit um, so yeah, let's talk a bit about the product. So I really do like the Revlon one I think I like it a bit better because it gives a little bit more coverage um, It doesn't give me smile lines. It makes my skin look so soft and dewy I do even though I have really dry skin I do get a bit oily like by the end of the day, but it's still on perfectly like I'll put a picture um, of me wearing this and literally this is like over at least 12 to 13 hours and the foundation was on really really well um so yeah this is really good it's very long wear it's very skin like it's softening it does blur like i have like i've mentioned before i'm starting to get like pores and it doesn't really sink into that it just it just it just looks really beautiful even though it does claim that it's oil free, I don't feel like it helps to control oil because I, like I said, I get a little bit of an oily T-zone by the end of the day and I still get that. So if you're quite oily, I definitely recommend powder with, but when I do use this, I don't really wear powder. But yeah, I think that's what I have to say. I do feel like they could maybe add a bit more darker shades. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, but for me, this shade Toast is like the perfect colour. Um, and then... £10 is so good, the pump and the packaging so convenient, easily blendable, you can build on it, I just really like it, and I didn't think I was going to like it, I don't really use much Revlon products, so I was a bit sceptical when I started using this, but I was so surprised and I think I really like it, it's one of my favourite products, and I, the products that I like to use changes all the time, and at the moment this is one that I always pick up. Now for the NYX one, I do feel like it gives me much less coverage. I still see like these um, spots that I have. I think you can see on camera. Hopefully this is a better angle. This is a Revlon side and then you've got the NYX side. 
See how the Revlon one has covered a bit more here and here you can see a little bit of my pigmentation uh, even on top here. Can you see that? That's covered really well. Both products don't ever give me like flakiness around my nose which is a huge plus. Um, and then yeah, that's my forehead. So yeah, the NYX definitely gives me less coverage but I'm not mad at it. It's very light on those days where you just want a little bit of a tint um it's really comfortable to wear very hydrating very dewy um if you've got oily skin i definitely recommend some powder with it um and like i said if you want it if you're wanting something to cover pigmentation blemishes maybe this may not be for you i will try and insert a picture of how the nyx one looks at the end of the day but i get a little bit of smile lines and it does fade out a bit by the end of the day I've definitely worn it more than eight hours and I think it does pretty well for that. Um, but like I said, it's very skin-like, so yeah. I think that's all I have to say, guys. I definitely would say that I like the Revlon one better, but both are in my makeup bag. Have you guys tried these products? Let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely curious to know, but I thought this would be an interesting video to do because I've been liking these, so I wanted to share it with you guys anyways. I'm going to head off. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you in my next one.